Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm going to do my sand art for you today. I'm going to do a quick read for the Divine Masculine from yesterday, Divine Feminine from this morning, and then Oracle cards and the general energies. And I'm going to get started with the sand art first. It is October 23rd, 2018 today. And it is a sunny day here. The energies are a bit stressful. I've been doing a lot of uh, breathing to release but um, just because of the energies out in the world today I think we should call everyone to meditate more and ground more um, uh, we're being called to go out and be in, in nature too so that will help the rest of the world stay calm so I really feel like this is something that uh, we all need to do today and just in general this week okay so for the sand art I did the sand art last night. It was really, really super beautiful. I actually teared up because it was so beautiful. Um, I'm going to show you a picture from it. It's just one of the pictures, and you may not be able to capture all of it from this picture. But if you want me to send you um, all the, the pictures from it, I'll let you, I'll I'll send it to you. Just email if you're interested. This is one of the pictures, and just so you get the idea of what I'm seeing. So that big piece up top um, is the, a lobster claw, which is the Divine Masculine Lobster, his claw holding the Divine Feminine's heart. He's giving it back to her. And she's actually laying there on her stomach with a blanket over her shoulders. And uh, there's more, there's so much more. I'm going to read it to you now so you understand what it is. And again, if you want me to send you the pics, just email me and I will. So, this is the sand art. It starts with a heart on a shelf that expands into Atlas, the weight of the world on his wings, his right arm holding up the shelf as he opens his heart more fully to allow the Divine Feminine and Spirit's connecting with me. A splash in a martini glass as he becomes human again Collapsing in the weight of it, the server goes down. He becomes small and nothing again, feeling it in his wings and ligaments as the Divine Feminine's heart peeks in with the third eye. Dark shadows all around pour her love out to Gaia, to the Divine Masculine, Cleopatra and her little man. as a ghost. So Cleopatra, like a Halloween thing, Cleopatra and her little man as a ghost, his inner child on Halloween. Masks then come down as they both become human again on Zion. And that was a download. And become one again with each other. And then disappear together, becoming the tusk of the elephant. I was also getting someone maybe um, face down on an MRI or a CT machine, having that test done. His wing, his left wing, or the bat wing, the elephant's trunk. I'm going to read that last part again. So when the masks come down, as they both become human again on Zion, they become one again with each other and disappear together, becoming the tusk of the elephant, his left wing, the elephant's trunk. The Divine Feminine lays down for a massage at the spa, possibly, with water raining on her. as it transforms from the emotions in her head, rising angel, yelling emotion, as her divine spirit releases the stress from her shoulders, walking on her back and working out shoulder kinks. So definitely divine, some of the divine feminines could be getting massages. So, but now the divine feminine here, laying at the spa, the Divine Feminine's laying there. It's, you're seeing um, 
a warm blanket being laid upon her shoulders. The lobster claw, or the divine masculine on his long journey home to his mate, brings her heart back to her in hopes of repair and spirits connecting to the sacrificial lamb placed upon her shoulders now becomes the lion and emotional spirits gather around for discussion. The divine feminine looks dead as well as the lion lamb laid across her shoulders as the divine masculine gives up laying, gives up laying his grief stricken body over the lamb's head as two masters whisper inside his head, which is what's left, what's left of a heart-shaped head. He, another lamb, as he rests upon his lobster claw closing, the divine feminine is soothed by, an, by angel fish kisses as the divine masculine transforms into the trunk of an elephant protecting and nourishing his angel until her heart starts beating again. As the two lambs become the lion and the elephant, courage, courageous strength and patient strength, wild and tame. Uh, I can't tell you by words, you have to see the, the pictures of it. It was so beautiful. It was literally, you know, the lobster in the, um, Is it the moon card where the two towers on either side and the lobster has to make it down the long path? And this is the divine masculine's path. So it's at the lobster claw of this lobster, this little old lobster, you know, trying to get past the dogs, bringing the divine feminine's heart back to her to wake her up because she looks dead. He wants to put it back in her so she'll work again. And as he does, she the lamb that she's become comes out and then turns into a lion as basically the spirits are trying to rejuvenate the divine feminine but he's sad because he doesn't see this he just sees as her dying and he lays on top of her trying to trying to save her and as he does that he literally becomes the tusk and the and the trunk of the elephant and she literally becomes a lion laying on top of her. So the lamb becomes a lion. Okay, and then his lamb becomes him into the elephant. Which again, the lion is courageous, wild strength. And the elephant is patient, tame strength. So when I went into the feminine read this morning, was shuffling um, I got um, say it soft and it's almost like praying Maria and it was definitely attributed to Mary Magdalene it was Jesus singing it to Mary Magdalene as the divine masculine to the divine feminine and then five minutes or four minutes after that I got the marriage of Jesus and Mary Magdalene and um, actually yesterday my my mail hit four 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 I'm going to go back and do the, um, just a quick Divine Masculine read from yesterday, and then I'll get into the Divine Feminine read for today. So, the so Divine Masculine yesterday, and this was at um, 6.16 p.m. yesterday evening. Uh, the Major Arcana were Starseed, Strength. Starseed is the fool, by the way, in the uh, Syrian Starseed. Strength, Justice, Wheel, and Luna, which is the moon. There were two cups, one pentacle, two wands, and one sword, so pretty well balanced. And the um, court cards were the King of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. There were no numbers in the code for the Divine Masculine yesterday. And really, the only number I have to report for you is that 4444 that came up around that time, as well as the 20, 2121 came up for the Divine Masculine. Um, the coding had to do with the, all about the moon, and also Hans, Han Solo came up. Um, 
It was like the Divine Masculine as Han Solo having God's support with the with the strength from the Divine Feminine. The loving the loving strength from the Divine Feminine at the full moon. And also that the Divine Masculine gains his strength by being more in his feminine at the full moons. And he's realizing this. To avoid the full moon issues, you know, the explosions that usually happen at the full moons to train himself to go to his feminine side at the full moons in order to create peace. So the codes that were online had had a lot to do with Star Wars. They were all coming up Star Wars. So a Star Wars story came up from 2018. During an adventure into the criminal underworld, Han must Han's meets Han meets his future. co-pilot Chewbacca and encounters Lando um, Carly, Car Carlison I'm sorry I don't know Star Wars characters very well so um, and this was years before um, joining the rebellion another Star Wars entry came up as EP V1 or 6 and that's from Return of the Jedi in 83 after a daring mission to rescue Han from Jabba the Hutt which came up with Attila the Hun the hut came up that um, sand art. The now I can't read my writing. The robots dispatch the Endor to destroy to destroy a more powerful Death Star. Luke struggles to help Vader back from the dark side without falling into the Emperor's trap. So it's about clearing out, you know, the dark energy around you and trying to help others, but not allowing yourself to get sucked back into that. And Star Wars theory came up. <laughs> I like this one. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe. <laughs> and then Zeta Magnus came up as well as the master geneticist and enemy of the Galactic Republic. And then also the last entry that came up I got was Counter, and it was from Powerlisting at wikia.com, and it was just about counter and counter moves, counter counter moves, and ocular based counter moves, which alters the visual perception of an opponent with quick speed and fluid movements. So, you know, by, uh, it's like being a magician. You know, the sleight of the hand, um, and to trick and to trick your eyes into believing something. So that is important for the way we perceive our world, and allowing and being careful about not allowing others to manipulate us. Okay. So for the divine masculine yesterday, a big bomb drops, which is obvious today in the market. Big bomb drops on seedling dropping burdens for him since he was hanging around not doing it for himself so it was basically God coming in and forcing his hand here's your new perspective which now that you know we've had this market issue the Emperor is out with family behind him all hiding but two as a whirlwind of Thoth and Michael or Eagle and Gabriel tie the knot around the Divine Feminine's world sealing her energy as the King of Pentacles prays and meditates and rests Big Bomb was a co-creation of Thoth and Metatron to obviously get the Divine Masculine moving. Implementing comes out as the wounded warrior is guarded to new life due to negative self-talk. And then the underlying energy of religious factors came up. The Divine Masculine is trying to extend an olive branch between possibly hyper kids and keeping them quiet about drinking and fantasy. And at that point, when I said negative self-talk, um, yesterday, someone came to my door looking for a pastor. Um, also, synchronicities comes up as an underlying energy for the Divine Masculine last night. Um, that depression and loss of finances and status at the full moon um, and suffering looking back. Looking back at negative self-talk, resting, being quiet and still before the huge download hits or a bomb drops in order to force his hand. Recently, the Knight of Cups had a rush of emotions the King of Wands reversed, exhausted, recovers finances after the worst is over. The Queen of Wands, close to her religion, possibly, 
curious about her own abilities as the Knight of Wands is holding back passion or unable to perform and is over isolating or she's out on the prowl looking for a one night stand after being deprived of passion and looking into her crystal ball. So I was getting that as karmic energy, but it doesn't have to be. Take it as it fits for your situation. And if it doesn't resonate, don't take it at all. Centrally, the King of Cups was divinely tripped up because of lack of faith and avoiding his truth, his nightmare. The challenge is for the Divine Masculine, justice of the twins and or the kids and or divorce or break in contract is announced and needing to be strong and be the eye of the tiger leading the way to angelic sudden event break or announcement now in his heart and head is justice hanging over the queen of pentacles head as one offered love and the other opportunity and tries but the opportunity is tied to a negative past as kids recover it was like the one offered love and, and independence, the other opportunity with ties to a negative past. Kids recover as the King of Cups avoids the suffering attached to the Queen of Pentacles, rejecting him or pushing him away and trying to get angel attention through jealousy, which then backfires in a sudden meet of karmic with another. So maybe someone's karmic actually was caught being with somebody else. Or it could be for some that the Divine Masculine catches the Divine Feminine with someone else because he waited too long. Or soon, rising above the fire, with flame in his right hand, present to his unhappiness and no more options, he is his own destiny at the full moon and makes magic. The cards that he got is it is safe to love and past life relationship. Around him is a fiery sky over loss and jealousy and working without inspiration. The Divine Masculine needs to clear blocks of peace, family, and possibly a Leo, or just needing strength, or the Leo always uncomfortable with uncomfortable emotions, so maybe he's with someone who's just never happy. And then communication comes up as most significant for the Divine Masculine, needing to communicate. The Queen of Wands secret. The magician protects himself from a fantasy world at the full moon with huge waves of feminine emotions. New perspective on the Empress creates friction. There's a fresh start, learning abilities, destined to stay present, offering love, as the King of Cups, Tiger, tangoing to peace and justice, come to light at the full moon as expansion occurs with rising passions, taking a leap to love, truth, and balance, and possibly also studying abilities as the King of Cups finds justice with kids and the Queen of Pentacles destined to rise at the full moon, staying present and peaceful, communicating with the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. And maybe Divine Masculine communicating his secrets to the, to the Karmic or actually communicating with both the Karmic and the Divine Feminine. All right, so... Um, And then we're going to get into today and the Divine Feminine's read this morning. And also that the China Bridge opened, I noticed when I uh, just opened my uh, internet. It was the news at the top there. So which connected with whatever expansion I was getting. Remember I was talking about the Holland Tunnel or some kind of bridge or a dam, something being built or expanded or lengthened. And that the long Chinese uh, bridge opened. All right, so... Today is October 23rd, 2018. 23 is the King of Wands. There's a lot of passion in the air today. Um, 23 is a five, is of expansion, so you may feel that stress. Expansion, change, but it's also excitement. Um, it's the three of the King of Wands on the inside, the joy and the self-expression and the coming together on the inside. Um, but being more uh, subdued as the feminine energy on the outside, you know, getting along and seeing everyone's different perspectives. That's the advantage of the king of, of wands. He can be very affectionate with people. The day adds up to the 44-8, which is the four of cups. It's also the number of Atlas. Okay? It's the eight of power, inner strength, big business, big sports, 
and also manifesting and staying at zero point in the infinity. It's the four and four though, it appears exactly as it is, very structured, stable, responsible, something that you can count on or someone that you can count on. But they also may seem boring or bored themselves, not appreciating the good that's already in their life and not seeing the opportunities that God's offering them or source. Okay, so we have the King of Wands and the Four of Cups today. The King of Wands is either bored or he's ignoring someone, ignoring someone's offer of love, or just ignoring, um, ignoring sort the universe's offers and trying not to see them, or feeling bad for having ignored those offers in the past and still dealing with the current loves in his life. Okay. So like I said, before the Divine Feminine Read, it was all about, say it's soft, and it's almost like praying. Maria. Okay. And it's all about Mary Magdalene and Jesus. And then I got the marriage of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. But then I also got, for someone, this may not be for everyone, and um, this was literal. I got his, heat, his feet don't touch the floor. And I don't normally say this, but his shit don't stink, okay? So it was coming across as a very arrogant man that his feet don't need to touch the floor, like, you know, he should only have gold under his feet, that kind of feeling. And that was actually at 12.01 today. So the Divine Feminine was at 12 to 12.02. And the major arcana for the Divine Feminine was Shadow or the Devil, Guidance, which is the Hierophant, Starseed, which is the Fool, Abundance, which is the Empress, and then Star and Justice. There were three cups, one sword, one pentacle, and no wands for the Divine Feminine today. A lot of guidance, because we have six major arcanas today. There was uh, the Page of Pentacles and King of Cups come up as the court cards. And the Knight of Swords was there in the underlying energy, but not as one of the main cards. Uh, the n no numbers came up for the Divine Feminine either in the coding. However, the message was very clear. It was literally, after death of the AI, or artificial intelligence, I dance, and it was literally small I dance, with nature, okay? After death of artificial intelligence, I dance with nature. So it's about grounding, meditating, get out in nature. One aligned, I was also getting um, that one twin is aligned and one cup is open to receive. However, be careful it's not a pitchfork waiting to swallow you whole. So it was literally like, you know, the pie is the circle with the line through it. But I'm seeing the other one as a U with the line through it, which literally becomes a pitchfork. So be careful the offer is real and it's not a dark offer. But don't go into fear about it. Be positive about everything. Allow everything. Okay? And isolate when you need to. I saw, and that was a confirmation. I saw this morning when I, as soon as I went to the kitchen, the squirrels were out back, busy, you know, collecting their, their things. And then again, when I was doing this read, I saw the squirrel out front. He was sitting on my chair. He's very cute. So again, the coding that some of the coding that I came up with, um, I didn't go to anything any details of the things that came up online. But it was just kind of a aligned message about being careful about things. I got la lesion, and it's interesting because it's like Zion with la and le, so the masculine and the feminine of Zion. And then I got ad dash a two eighty five and eight hundred and thirty three. DD form 254 preparation guide all right to prepare I also got naval command control and ocean San Diego California surveillance and quake was another entry 2 EDL 3 then I got box a bluetooth I dance I dance I dance okay so it's dance with nature box of bluetooth so bring your music with you in case, put an emergency kit together so you always have your Bluetooth with you so you can dance, dance, dance and be with nature. Also, beauty products came up. 
um, Director of Central Intelligence Directive, Free Vector Converter, Vectorize Your Image to AI, Advertisements, False Advertisements, okay? Remember, AI is Artificial Intelligence. Advertisements are manipulations, okay? So be aware of that. And also OU putting that in as the the um, pi and then the open pitchfork as I put the OU in the system just to see what come up and there's Open University which is an online university in the UK. It's also Oklahoma U which I like their website was listed as one.ou.edu so that might be a, a positive support for Oklahoma U. And the major um, signs that came up for the Divine Feminine read Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, and Pisces. So for the Divine Feminine today, it's 2555, the shadow web, or the devil, after death, blocked positive announcements, or 5D announcements, after being strong in a block to financial recovery for the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so it's either someone who's ungrounded or just or someone who's spending too much or someone who's greedy. But it's calling you either which way to align with nature. Free in the sun to leap and run right into your match. So you may bump into your twin. Looking for directions to lead the way. Aroused by the divine masculine may be aroused by greed lining his feet with gold pieces. Or just very pleased that he was Scrooge with his money in this new market news. Bold, you know, so kind of coming off cocky, like because now a lot of friends have lost money. It's the divine masculine saying, "Well, you know, I didn't lose anything," but that's the message I was getting. So with, um, it was kind of like he was getting aroused because you know he made the right choice and everybody else didn't. Um, boldly moving forward with his wings, angels are out balancing, looking for what needs to be done. If there's others out there who need help, about those who have taken down others who have insecurities or have lost some tools that they needed or possibly on guard to a negative past returning. Some worried about the war and the market crashes. Now what was coming up is the underlying wet, uh, energy for the Divine Feminine is wedding. So it has something has to do with marriage. Literally the situation involves marriage. Okay. So new love out. First prize while others comfort each other wounded at the races. So somebody might, might have lost money at the races as well. The Knight of Pentacles offers a hand to the weary as the Divine Feminine feels his big love. And spiritual partnership also comes up as the underlying energy for the Divine Feminine. Putting out money, so there's several scenarios here. This is still all the underlying energy. Putting out money and electroshock therapy to bring, back, to bring your lover back to life or lost money in a confession to a lost love, or lost money letting go of burdens after vacillating, or just letting go of lost love, putting away stingers at the full moon in order to express feelings of passion, or lots of laser therapy, or someone might have sold old lasers to get fewer new ones, okay, so they'd, they'd be better, more updated, or lost money due to broken equipment, but able to replace with new, better equipment, maybe just less pieces. Or someone just bought a lot of stocks and lost more. All of which, whoever's going through these things, they're not telling anyone. They're either holding back any announcements about anything, hoping that it changes, I guess, or being really nasty, okay? Or piercing someone with their tongue because they're blaming others for their mistake or for their, um, you know, bad term that they had, okay, bad, a stroke of bad luck or whatever it is. They want to blame somebody else. So holding back a bad past, issues with abundance and war. Recently, after conflict is over, the Empress masters her emotions. After not talking about issues of being yelled at, being scolded, and being wrong, because they were always told that when they were young. Now learning to speak up right away and open their heart and to the shadow of others and allowing the shadow aspect of others and not judging them for that as well. The foundation is the big bomb drops. 
just like yesterday for the Divine Masculine, after a message of love and clarity, stuck in emotions of sudden events and drama that's going on today, and bold moves going on in marriages and commitments. Possibly a Capricorn and, can and a Cancer are getting married, a big love and spiritual partnership, as well as bad news to a dark Taurus or Capricorn Empress. With big download is an opportunity for a leap of faith to make that big move to get married, um, but also centrally the King of Swords reversed, all right, so who's not in his truth or is actually lying or is just not talking, is separated from an Empress announcing her truth come together to leave and take a leap to the Queen of Swords, talking about energy work. Um, the Divine Feminine is challenged by the Empress choosing to free herself and start over, to choose a new path of angels and God or patience and marriage. So this Empress could be the Divine Feminine, but it also could be a karmic energy in her life or in the Divine Masculine's life. But whoever it is has decided to free themselves and start over to choose a new path of angels and God or patience in marriage, so if someone's into their religion, or patience in marriage, to be satisfied alone or to be by themselves without an Aquarius Aries person, but with their dreams and magic. Now in the head and heart of the Divine Feminine, there's new life of joy and freedom, peaceful thoughts and meditation, taking a leap into energy work with angel commitment to shine light and manifest destiny. There may be an Aries thinking about surprising. It could be an Aries or just a divine mass and a divine feminine. Someone thinking about surprising a sad angel with a king of wands type of hug, a commitment to a romantic tie and shining light, healing and manifesting, a destiny fully exposed. Taking time out for affection and shedding light on psychic abilities of the magician and the high priestess's new love. This Aries, or it doesn't have to be an Aries, but it is the fool taking that leap of faith, is thinking about the Queen of Wands reversed, very angry and frustrated in his decision to take others down, identifying every small detail of the Emperor's overindulgences, or this could be at work, the Emperor being very nitpicky at work, calling out workers cheating, drinking, and gossiping at work, a lot of nastiness, and holding back important communications, spending money irresponsibly, and unable to make quick decisions. So it's like the boss getting on everyone's case at work, you know, being a really a real stickler for details, you know, kind of being a control freak. But it's like the um, it's like a karmic in the, in the divine masculine's life, whether it's his partner or his mother or someone he works with, a boss, um, is irritated and angry because he's behaving this way. He's taking back control and not letting anyone get away with crap or the gossip or whatever that's going on at work. Or money loss. Somebody might have been cheating or stealing. This could happen in the divine feminine's world as well. So apply it to your situation as it fits. Um, soon for the divine feminine, wanting to learn more about their own psychic abilities or possibly the Divine Masculine, or children wanting to learn more about their psychic abilities at home, meditating, possibly jealous of the High Priestess and her self-love and her new love, going inward in order to balance the Masculine and Feminine within. So maybe also others around the Divine Feminine seeing what she does and kind of jealous and wanting to learn what the Divine Feminine has been doing in order to connect within and to go within and to meditate. The Divine Feminine is meditating to reconnect union and is in the energy of the King of Cups, which is about mastering your emotions. Okay. After the lover is wounded, holding back energy and money possibly in order to implement and be loved. So maybe the Divine Masculine has secretly been planning to be with the Divine Feminine and is hurt by things the Divine Feminine may say because she doesn't know anything she hasn't heard from her Divine Masculine. Um, but maybe he's trying to change his ways. He's been Maybe he's trying to save and learn to be loved more. And the King of Wands is exhausted. So either way, there's a lover that is feeling wounded and holding back their energy and money, saving to implement when it's time, when it's time to be loved. The King of Wands is exhausted. 
the divine feminine it comes up it is safe to love past life relationship and this could be the one around the divine feminine or how she is seen is the star card after uncomfortable emotions sneakiness half truths and getting over loss and sadness now either divine feminine or whoever it is around her is now healing singing or being Egyptian or a star for Halloween holding the light and an ankh or an Aquarian maybe healing or helping you heal only big love partnership stands between the divine feminine and the divine masculine the divine feminine is mastering her emotions and the divine feminine is leading the way clear blocks for the divine feminine of children and this was the big one a lot came up around this um, clear blocks of children childhood memories and your twin and the negative past being guarded for the divine feminine as spirits connecting with me to love to thinking the thinking that a practical work offer has the devil behind it so if you get a work offer only seeing the dark in it okay clear blocks about unhappy family taking energy okay or that kids will drain you or be sick all the time so it's about your own family but also worried about the divine feminine thinking about what might happen when she's with a divine masculine if he has kids and she doesn't are his kids going to drain her all the time is he going to drain her are they all going to be unhappy or will your kids drain you and feel sick all the time because the kids are unhappy with the arrangement it's all about the draining of energy or constantly getting over pain and suffering and having to deal with other people like once the divine feminine's healed her worrying about having to go back into that because now everyone around her is going through this suffering and also the divine masculine needs to clear the divine masculine will always defend his children and family before her or over her no matter how loving or how nurturing the Divine Feminine is. That was, I felt that one for sure. That the ex who's tied to the family will always have power over him or the feeling, the need to guard your own kids from the Divine Masculine or possible meddling family members on their side. Okay, so as this becomes more real to you, becoming more realistic about what could potentially come into your life but also to not put these walls up don't assume anything keep your open heart and just stay present appreciate what you have right now and don't worry about anything that isn't real you deal with it when the time comes and don't assume the worst okay especially when thinking that um, things that can be very hurtful to the divine feminine like th that the masculine would always pick his family or his children over you which i've definitely felt that before and um yeah and just that every you know because although you feel your divine masculine every day all the time that um, you're not a part of his 3d life and so that everyone who is in his life will take over and you know you know how, that you'll be of little importance in his life that kind of thing so you have to let go of all those blocks that can close your heart down keep your heart open stay present <sighs> okay uh, for the divine feminine nature comes up it's really important as well as domestic harmony okay to make your home happy make it just the way you want as well as your your heart and spend time in nature Keeping quiet about romance to keep the peace and family. You don't need to keep quiet about your truth, okay? The Queen of Cups finds peace going into union with self and family and keeping quiet about romance as justice is served with possible news of a breakup in a partnership. A Queen of Cups comes out of isolation, feeling incomplete, in order to express her feelings that she's been holding back, that she doesn't need to hold back, Need, finally having the opportunity to express her feelings of passion as a twin also possibly detoxing this downturn today of family funds that the worst is over or detoxing 
and staying calm until the worst is over, okay? So in summary too, the shadow or the devil drops a bomb to the king of cups, dreams of abundance and coming together in marriage or commitment with psychic opportunity with twin and or children. He thinks deeply about justice and or divorce and or a new commitment of marriage with twin. Okay, so that was the read for the Divine Feminine. Um, there's a lot of, you know, darkness coming up that's coming out at this full moon, so just be aware of it. And it's so, so important to ground and meditate right now. And drink your water too. I'm going to do your oracle cards now. We have the Ascension deck here. And it's 40-40. 40 is the Page of Cups. It's that innocent, pure love. Also the babies and children, the youngest. The innocence of love. And my baby, my baby called me this morning. Okay, so we have, for the Ascension deck, everyone take a deep breath. What is the advice for the Divine Feminine? What is the advice for everyone watching? The Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Twin Flames, and anyone else who's watching. What is the advice for everyone? <sighs> what is the advice? Okay. That two in the bottom is Archangel Metatron. He's definitely in the mix here today. Number 27, Archangel Metatron's the underlying energy. That's the Ace of, of Wands. It's a nine of endings, compassion, and uni universal selflessness. It's the seven of spirituality on the inside, the divine feminine energy on the outside. The affirmation is, I attune to Archangel Metatron today. Okay. Maybe he's, he's helping us out with this, this turn of events today. Um, the cards that came out first was uh, Lord Kamika. Number 42, which is the Two of Cups. It's the Six of Motherly and Love, Family, and Community, Energy. The Divine Feminine Energy on the inside and Stability and Structure on the outside. Dependability. Kamika came from another universe to set the conditions for the Golden Age of Atlantis with Archangel Metatron. Okay, so this is separate from the card I just told you. So Metatron's definitely here today. He has returned to, to be Koan of the, the Eighth Ray, a soul ray of purification, enlightenment, and communication. When you receive this card, you're in a quest for enlightenment. Your guidance is to breathe Kamika's blue topaz light into your aura, expand your attitude to one of unconditional love, acceptance of others, and personal responsibility. So light blues are the, the throat chakra. Kumika will open new doors for you and guide your footsteps towards enlightenment and ascension. And the affirmation is, I call on Lord Kumika to enlighten and support me. Okay. So communicate and purify. Enlighten. And keep your heart open. Don't block things. Just allow them and knowing that you're in your power. If it's something that doesn't resonate you, you don't have to let that energy in or you can walk away, but don't fear it. Keep your heart open. Okay, the second card that came up is the dolphins. Number 23, which is today, the 23 of the King of Wands, it's a five, which we talked about already. Dolphin sonics purify, and again we have purity, and raise the frequency of water as they swim through it so that they can access, maintain, and pass on the wisdom of golden Atlantis and Lemuria. Those dolphins who shimmer with aquamarine light were the angels of Atlantis. They are mighty beings who help to hold the frequency of the oceans. Choosing this card invites you to tune in to the beautiful dolphins and access a message from them. Your guidance is to relax and flow with the current of ascension knowing that the dolphins are telepathically imparting help and wisdom to you. And the affirmation is, I connect with dolphin wisdom. So again, you may want to listen to dolphin sounds today or tune in in meditation, okay? Or if you're lucky enough to go spend some time with a dolphin today, that would be great, okay? Again, this is King of Wands energy. So from the past life deck, past life deck, message. Everyone take a deep breath. <sighs> what is the message for everyone watching today? What is the message? Okay. 
got two. The bottom of the deck is Atlantis. And here we have the dolphins again. And the fish. And the, the uh, kissing fish. What did I call it? That was in the sand art. The kissing fish. But this is the underlying energy of the deep sea, of the pillars, the white pillars of light, and the dolphins, and the fish, and the rays of light breaking through the murky water. Rays of light breaking through the murky water, the emotions, the deep, deep, deep emotions, okay? The cards that came out were Unrequited Love, and scribe or writer. Okay. Use them together. Alright, so it's very much about journaling your pain. Okay. Um, it also could be about writing something as a gift to someone else. But using the pen to write, to send messages, to write a book, to create, to release negative feelings. to record your journey. And the Akashic Records are coming up as well. And again, someone's, uh, there's a bracelet, you know, like a, uh, you know, a small, small beaded and silver brace, silver bead ba bracelet around the candle. So if someone has a bracelet or an ankle bracelet like that, it's coming up, as well as a leather heart. And an old-fashioned ink pen. All are coming up. Um, now we have Romance Angels. I mean, I'm sorry, Journey of Love. Here in a line. Take another deep breath. <sighs> All right. What is the advice for everyone watching today? What is the advice? What is the advice? What is the advice? Okay. Got two cards. The bottom of the deck is she loves. This is advice for sure, the underlying energy. She loves, it's about staying your loving self, staying open. But it's also the number 61, which is the seven of swords. Okay? So it's about learning to be able to stay open and stay open to everything, don't block things, but to allow things in and be able to discern what, you, what you'll open your energy to and who you won't. Okay? But don't not do things because you fear running into that kind of energy. You have the power to stay calm or to walk away. Okay? And so these two cards involve that as well. The um, eruption of light, which is very beautiful. And I was just getting um, the Eiffel Tower. It's number 11, which is justice. Oof. I'm seeing <laughs> I'm seeing the divine masculine and his heart you can see his heart popping out of his chest he is on a trapeze getting ready to jump to take the long leap the risk to get to the to the void, the vortex. But anyway, that's an eruption of light. And also I'm getting a circus tent, so somebody might be going to the circus. And a light show. 
And again, I'm getting tunnels. The Holland Tunnel might be coming up again for some reason. Okay, and I have Her Grace as the other card. Okay, and that one's number 17, the star. So Justice and the star. And that's an eight and a two again. And of course, eight is about the inner strength needed right now. It's the seven of spiritual strength on the inside and the masculine energy being a leader on the outside for others to follow to help them, okay? And then justice. And I'm going to read you these both of these. So number 11, eruption of light. And it's all about shokarees in the cards today as well. About the circular energy and um, music, music of the spheres, as well as the snail, the snail's pace. Oh, and I'm getting that elitist energy again too. So it came up for the mask and now it's coming up for the feminine, you know, like she's putting her hand out like, you know, you can kiss my hand. All right, so number 11, eruption of light. Your every prayer is a power-packed eruption of light beamed into the divine presence. Some pray with fear or doubt, as though prayer is not doing much at all. Yet you understand that prayer is powerful, that is divine action set in motion. Your power of divine prayer emerges from your heart and out through your throat, whether you speak or sing your prayer silently within your own mind or aloud for all the world to hear. Let your prayers be vocalized as feeling expressed to the divine in words or song if you choose. You have the power to heal in spirits connecting at your fingertips and vocal cords. Through your voice, you can heal. Let your hands be joined in prayer position at your heart and spirits still connecting and your mouth open to let the breath of your spirit move through your throat, creating sound. As you speak it, so shall it be. This oracle holds a message for you. Your words have more power than you may realize and you have the special ability to heal with words, to bring light where it is needed and to uplift through simple kindness spoken. You also have a message to bring. It might be an urge to write or speak on topics that are close to your heart. You may also simply have the need at a soul level to share from the heart with others when you're engaged in conversations. This oracle says that your voice is a part of your power, so do use it. And it simply states, life begins with love. To complete itself again, symmetry is born. Something I was just listening to, it brings that up. The circular motion also, that um, it's about the three in the connection, okay? So you have the, the um, union of yourself with the two, right? Like the two of cups. And then we have the third, because the third is the connection, just like I've talked about in Yahweh before, okay? You have that third as a connection, which is very important, because without that connection, what are we, okay? So this is talking about that, that connection as well. You need the caboose. You need the hand to hold the other hand to pass on the messages, to spread the light, to spread the good energy. It's all about the connection. And it's important too, I hope that some people are doing um, some meditations for the full moon to raise uh, the energy for what's going on in the collective energy right now. So you might want to participate in something like that to help raise the uh, energy of, of the general population who may be going through difficulties right now. And I'm going to read number 17 as well. All right, 17 is her grace. The goddess is awakening within your life. It may be within your own body, with an essential deepening of relationship with your own body or with the body of another, through expanding creativity, a sudden burst of feeling that you cannot logically explain, a desire to move, to dance, to express yourself, to sing, to write music, to draw, to play in nature, to swim, and to collect shells and lie on your back in the moonlight, gazing at the stars. 
Let her reach you. She is calling to you from ancient times, calling you to allow her more deeply into your life. Celebrate the Divine Feminine. She is coming to life for you. Whether man or woman, your life is about to be touched by her magic, never to be the same again. This oracle brings you a message. There is a woman who brings divine blessing into your life who is trying to connect with you more deeply. The blessing may be one that is obvious or one that is hidden in a challenge. The woman may be your own body if you're a female or your own inner feminine if you are a male. It may be a spiritual or physical being, the great mother, your lover, your sister, or your dearest friend. It may be a woman as yet unknown to you but who holds a soul contract with you an agreement predestined to awaken you. The empowerment will come to you, spirits connecting, by reject the empowerment will come to you, not by rejecting what is offered by this feminine presence, but by embracing it and finding your truth through it. This is exciting because it means you are growing. You are entering into the feminine temples of wisdom and finding a home there. And the spirit the spirit. The poem says the spirit of the poem. I was born long before our time, and yet my time with you is something new. For you awaken in me a spirit that was longing for release, wanting for your touch. I thought I was safe to stay inside the boundaries and the walls I carried with me. You touched all of me, and we walked outside the lines together. That's really beautiful. Okay, so again, it's, it's urging you to allow the Divine Feminine and allow everything to come in. To let down your walls and let down your fear and just allow. You never know what may come of it. Okay. I'm going to pull one more card from the traditional deck. Okay. So what is the message for everyone? We have one last message for everyone watching. Take another deep breath, guys. What is the message for everyone watching? What is the message? Oh, the magician. Do your magic manifest? Use your abilities. The underlying energy is the four of wands reversed. So it's about feeling unstable. It could be possibly moving. But it's also um, not needing the structure of a home, because remember that your heart is your home. So if you're feeling instability, to ground again so that you can feel stable again. But it could also be, since that's the underlying energy, that the magician is moving. Okay, because he's upright there and very powerful, so I don't feel instability with this. I feel like the magician is moving. Okay. So make sure you guys drink your water, get your rest, and ground, ground, ground. Go out of nature and meditate. And just be happy. Enjoy your moment, okay? Rise and be loved. Love you guys. Take care.